Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create custom agent actions using your existing Salesforce REST resources in Apex. If you are using at REST resource annotation in your Salesforce org or your Apex classes, it means that using Apex REST API, we will be able to invoke these Apex classes and methods from your third party applications. If you wanted to reuse the same class and method in Agent Force, then we can make use of Agent Force Apex REST resources. Let's see how to do this. We have to make use of Salesforce agent force for developers. If you go to your Salesforce org and if you see agent force for developers, by default it will be enabled. If you have any legal requirement to disable it, you can disable it. If this is toggled on, then it will disable the agent force for developers in this org. So if this is toggled on and disabled, um, then you will not be able to make use of this uh, custom agent actions using apex rest so make sure this particular uh, disable agent force for developers in this org is uh, toggled off so it is enabled so this is done then we have to install agent force for developer vs code extension in your vs code editor once you install you will see the agent force icon here using which we can make use of the agent force assistant in order to get the vs code extension link please go to this blog post i have given step by step instructions using which you should be able to install salesforce agent force for developers extension in your vs code editor and then you should be able to use it Next step is you have to run this code uh, or uh, you have to run this command. You can go to your VS Code terminal and you can run or you can open your uh, SFDX uh, um, command line interface and then you can run it. If you run it in the terminal, you will see files deleted and, and it, it will uh, recreate the files. The advantage of running this command is it will help in generating open API v3 specification in a yaml editor in the vs code ide if you have uh, worked in mulesoft or any other uh, technologies which makes use of uh, oaml yaml we say it as yaml so you you will be familiar with that um, it makes use of uh, uh, indentation uh, in the code very similar to python uh, so you know, if you are not familiar you can uh, search in uh, um, MuleSoft help document and then you should be able to understand more information about YAML. Once this code is, uh, sorry, once this command is uh, successfully executed, you can go to sfdx-project.json. It will change or add the source behavior options as decompose external service registration beta. So if you go here, if you go to sfdx project.json it changed it or it added it so i ran this uh, command in my uh, vs code terminal so it got updated so step 3 is also done next uh, step is we have to execute the following command you can copy this command and then uh, if you do control shift p here you should be able to uh, search for it. So this will refresh all the S object uh, references uh, in Salesforce. So once this is also done, you have to select all S object options when you run this uh, command. Now um, VS code is set up. Uh, all the S objects reference are uh, refreshed because we ran this uh, particular uh, command. 
example this is also done next you have you, you will already have an existing apex class or uh, if you wanted to create and use it for multiple purpose also you can create make sure you your class have with sharing keyword or without sharing or inherited keyword uh, any one of those uh, keywords should be there in your class and uh, it should have any one of these uh, uh, annotated method it can be get post put patch or delete so make sure it has this is a sample class uh, it, this is not a working code but uh, i got this from salesforce reference document so you can also make use of this just to play around so once this code is uh, created in your uh, vs code uh, editor it, you can deploy it or you can keep it uh, local as of now next you have to run this uh, uh, command uh, you can right click your apex class and then you can run this command if you prefer to use count control shift p then you can also make use of that so here you can do command shift p and then you can paste that and then you should be able to run it or you should be able to yeah you, i cannot do it from here but I should be able to do it from the Apex class. So you can right click the Apex class and then you should be run it. Or you should open the Apex class. We have to do Command Shift P and then you should be able to run this. So this will create the external service registration iPhone meta.xml file. So this is the file which uh, is automatically created from this Apex class. Uh, so here I am making use of uh, a simple uh, HTTP POST method annotation. In this, um, using this annotation, I am having a method called import case. The import case accepts uh, subject and description. It is creating a case record. Once the case is successfully created, it will say case created for you. If there are any DML exception, it will return saying that um, e, e dot get message will return the failure message for the insert uh, case operation and then it will return the failure message back to the agent force uh, action so this is the class uh, i have uh, made use of it when i ran this create open api document from this class beta it generated this file automatically but when i tried to use it it didn't work there was an issue so you also make sure you are checking this in the responses in the content by default it was using application uh, slash json but if you look at the return type of my apex um, method it is returning string so i changed the content type from application iphone json to text this one was automatically generated by salesforce so this worked so instead of application uh, slash json when i changed it to text I deployed this to the org. You have you have to deploy the class also if you haven't deployed. So deploy both Apex class metadata and the external service registration iPhone meta dot uh, XML uh, metadata type. Once it is uh, deployed, you can go to API catalog, and then you should be able to verify it. Go to API catalog in Salesforce setup go to apex beta you should see your apex class and you should also see the method next i created a agent action using the apex class so this is a um, agent action i created you can also go to agent actions you can click new So here you should be able to select it since i have already created i'm not going to duplicate it so this is the agent action which i created and uh, this is my agent for service agent i created a topic called create case this is just for uh, uh, demo purpose so i didn't configure it with the proper classification scope and instruction and I imported the agent action 
be making use of add from asset library if you haven't created the agent action you can also create it from here so this is the agent action i'm making use of it from the apex rest resource now let's test it i wanted to directly test it so i'm going to say create the case and this this is the subject and description before we execute as of now there are no cases in my org one more important thing go to settings find this user for this user you have to give access to this apex class else it won't run that is also a very important step so it created the case successfully for me let's verify that yeah subject test test it is created by the einstein service agent user and uh, description is demo subject is test so i was easily able to reuse my existing apex rest resource in salesforce agent force action and i was able to reference it in my topic and then i was able to execute it please check the video description in the video description i have given my blog post from the blog post you should be able to get the commands sample apex code um, for your reference and then you should be able to play around i hope it was helpful thank you for watching